indeed a very good evening and a warm welcome to tonight's edition of KTN Sports. My name is Lynn Washua and we kick off the bulletin in Matters Rugby where the National Service Coach Benjamin Nayimba named two new inclusions into an evidently experienced 12-month squad that will take part in the Rio Olympics qualifiers in Johannesburg this weekend. Only one ticket is up for grabs in the 12-team Africa tournament. <laughs> The Olympic qualification has been a phase that cannot be separated from the Kenya National Servants team as the sport make its Olympic debut in Rio next year. The country is now staring at a realistic chance of qualifying, but so do other 11 African teams set to take part in the Olympic qualifiers in South Africa this weekend. I'm a bit anxious, but very confident about our prospects of the qualifiers. And that's because we're well, well prepared for it. So we're expecting that we can use the goods in the day and uh, come back uh, having qualified. Benjamin Ayimba's return to the team has continued to be seen by many as a boost to Kenya's qualification and when naming the squad to South Africa, the former Kenya international did not mince his words about the challenge ahead. We want it so bad, we're actually doing this without any contracts and any money, so we, we, we want just to restore the, 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 the pride in our Kenyan shot. And, um, Having, having seen the players and how driven they are without anything concrete about the contracts, you see that they're really proud to wear the shirt and want to, want to do everything because that's the only thing we'll be left uh, to, to have on to. Ayimba chose to stick with experienced players like Colin Sinjara, Captain Andrew Amonde, William Baka and Biko Adema with homeboys Jeffrey Onwich and Queens Frank Wanyama, the only two new inclusions. There'll the be a lot of youth and excitement in the team. We saw what Wanyama could do and Jeff is a very hard worker looking, looking to step up in the big stage. You know for a 19 year old who's that big already, uh, there's a lot of uh, prospect for him. Uh, Wanyama brings excitement into the team as well. He's very excited to be part of the team. He's been working hard, he's become stronger, he's, he's a lot more faster. He's making better decisions now. So, Despite joining the team in training, veteran and former captain Humphrey Kayange will not be heading to the qualifiers. Kind of this kind of ready for, for playing a tournament now and we're very realistic about how we want how we want to use him this season. And um, it will take another two or three trips before he can join us. So for him now it's just leadership uh, and the mentoring of the younger players and the leaders in the team. Kenya has been pulled in a relatively easy pool A alongside Madagascar, Mauritius and Tunisia, but Ayimba remains cautious. Because England is coming hard at us and, and we, can, we can't give them the benefit. You know it's a one-off. There's, no there's no more chances in this. It's a one, it's one tournament and everybody is going to be fired up. And you know, can, anything will happen on the day, so we're not, we're not taking any chances. <laughs> Only the winner of the 12-team tournament will qualify for the Rio Olympics, where Sevens Rugby will be making its Olympic Games debut.